Hey, welcome to the People's Mentors Podcast, where we mentor the people on real estate entrepreneurship and the mindset, because the mindset, my friend, always trumps the skill set. This is episode 061, episode 61. So let's jump into it. Let's start with the quote. So here's a quote that I really want you to ponder and think about. Why? Because it's a quote that I came up with. <laughs> so it's personalized, right? It's, it's just from me. And I was I came up with this quote because I was talking to one of my team members and, uh, and I was sharing with him some feedback on his performance. And I said, hey, before we get started, do you know the difference between praise and criticism? And he said, well, yeah, praise is just pretty much sharing with someone um, the good job they've done and criticism is is, is pretty much sharing with them some, some areas of improvement. I said, exactly. Praise makes you feel better, but criticism makes you get better. So that's the quote. What's the difference between praise and criticism? Praise makes you feel better, but criticism, criticism makes you get better. So let's get into the word of the week. The word of the week is always an acronym, my friend, and that acronym is critique, right? That's, that was pretty challenging for me to come up with some words that I always use an acronym, so it's pretty challenging to come up with words that start with a Q and U and E. So I had to embellish a little bit and try to make some, some words that probably don't make that much sense, but here we go. Critique stands for constructive responses improve tough individuals quite uniquely every day. So I'll repeat. Constructive responses or feedback improve tough individuals quite uniquely every day. So here's my thoughts on the quote as well as the word of the week. Praise is always great, right? Who doesn't love a pat on the back to be congratulated, to, to, to receive that feedback of job well done? Everyone loves that. You know, we, we, all, we always want to make sure we're doing a good job, right? Because your name's on the line. And if you have a good sense of uh, respect for yourself and for your name, whatever you do, you know, your name is all, your reputation, that's what I mean by your name. It, it always precedes you, right? You want to make sure that you have a good name established. However, you want to just focus on praising others, right? Especially if you're in a managerial role or you're in a leadership position, you always want to praise your team for the things they do. That's just important. As you probably heard before, the sandwich criticism where you start with praising them, in the middle, you give them some criticism, some feedback, and then you end that conversation with some additional praise. So we understand that as managers and leaders. So uh, that's important to praise others. However, it's more important to critique yourself, meaning self-evaluation. And I had to share that with my team member. I said, now I can give you some criticisms and some areas to improve to make you get better. But what I want you to focus on is how can you self-analyze, self-evaluate, self-critique yourself? And if you're able to do that, then guess what? You can be self-managed. And the people who make the most money are leaders. And, and people who are leaders, they're self-managed. Why? Because it's impossible to control others if you can't control yourself. It's impossible to manage and lead others if you cannot manage or lead yourself. It's impossible to be able to critique others if you don't critique yourself, okay? And you always want to ask for feedback for, for improvement. So let's say you are currently still an employee and you do your performance reviews with your supervisor. Let's say he or she brings you into the office. They say, man, you did great this past quarter. Oh, man, you, you killed it. I mean, the results, the, the quotas you met, the commissions you made, or the production you've done was excellent. It was through the roof. Oh, man, great job. That's cool. Don't get me wrong. You know, you might feel nice and happy, feel better, right? The, from that praise you receive. However, always ask, hey, give me the critical feedback. Even though my performance might've been 99.9% .9 correct. What is that 0.01% I need to improve upon? Always seek for the feedback to improve. Constructive responses. Because if you're being tough, you should be able to take it. Now, this is the key thing. You have to be tough. One of my favorite authors, if I happen to meet this guy, let's say in heaven, he, he passed away, unfortunately, I would give him a big hug because this book, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, changed my life. That's Dr. Stephen Covey. And he mentioned about criticism. He said, imagine you're at a beach in your plan and a friend of yours gets a bucket of, of water, right? Just a huge bucket of water out the ocean, right? And they splash it at you. 
and the water hits your face. So the water hits your face and it feels refreshing, but you got some of the sting in your eye. It's got some sand in your eye, right? And it's painful. However, even though you might receive some slight pain momentarily, overall, you being splashed with a bucket of water refreshed you, make you feel better, right? Make you actually cool off. It's the same thing with feedback we receive, whether it's from or supervisors or coordinators, bosses, in other words, in a professional sense, but even feedback from your wife, your husband, your children, your parents, uh, your friends, your significant other, your colleagues, even their feedback from a, from a personal sense is also beneficial. And sometimes it may stink. And that's the tough part, meaning they may be, uh, they may not study how to deliver feedback. They don't know about the, the sandwich criticism, right? They may not be trained leaders or uh, spend copious amounts of time improving their, their personal development, reading books and so forth. They, they're probably not in that headspace. However, they do care about you and they might not know how to articulate it correctly and soften the blow and they just give it to you raw to the point it stings, just like that sand that got in your eye. But what you have to do is, okay, they gave me feedback. All feedback is good feedback. Even though it's stung a little bit momentarily, overall, it's, it's going to refresh me and make me do better. So don't be sensitive to uh, the criticism. Again, they may not be trained on how to deliver criticism correctly, but you are a tough individual. And that criticism that they give you, it, it can be unique, which is great. It's, it's catered or customized specifically to you. So you want to take it on the chin, bam, and keep it moving. All right. So you can do it. All right, guys, that's it. That's my time for this episode. So if you're interested in getting started with uh, real estate investing and so forth, and you want to achieve financial freedom, just, then just check out uh, the links below. We, we definitely have a free webinar we want you to check out. Uh, why, just, just check the links below. <laughs> so that way you can get started. All right. Take care. Thanks. Thanks.